Hello everyone. Let's continue our discussion with MOSFET transistors. So in the last video, we saw the basic structure of MOSFET. We have seen the gate, source, drain and the body terminal. We have talked about P-type substrate. We talked about uh, diffusion regions and so on. In this video, we'll be talking about uh, electrical characteristics or the electrical properties of the MOSFET. So let's begin with one of the, one of the very important electrical uh, property of the MOSFET which is the threshold voltage. So by definition, threshold voltage tells us that it's the voltage at which your device turns on. So that's what the threshold voltage, the basic definition of a threshold voltage is. We'll be defining some equations, we'll be deriving some equations and, 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 and giving some potential across these terminals and try to find out what this value is, what, what, the, what the exact value of the threshold voltage should be. We'll do, we'll do all that. But the basic definition of the threshold voltage says that it's the voltage at which your device turns on. Okay, so let's continue. What we'll do is we'll try to first create a scenario. We'll try to create uh, create an apparatus over here saying that what at what terminal should be at what voltage. So to begin with, we'll we'll start with the the gate to source voltage. So the gate to source voltage should be equal to zero volts and by VGS I mean this this voltage which you see across these terminals. So gate to source voltage should be zero volts. That's the first criteria while deriving the threshold voltage. Okay. And the second criteria for deriving the threshold voltage is your drain source and the bulk should be connected to ground. That's the that's the second important criteria. So let's do that. Let's try to uh, connect uh, the, the source, drain and body terminal to the grounds. So while we do that, if you see before doing that, if, if you if you observe this area, this area is nothing but an N plus and a P type substrate joined together coming in conjunction together. So this reminds us of a very famous device, which is nothing but a PN junction diode. You must have all learned about PN junction diode. If not, we'll be covering it in a separate set of videos. So we need not worry about that. So this reminds us of a very, very basic device, which is PN junction diode. Even the same happens over here. You have the P type substrate. You have the N plus diffusion region. This, this forms a PN junction diode. Okay, so so so, so let's let's uh, move on. So the the second point, is what I was trying to make is we will ground the drain source and bulk terminal. Let's do that. So this is how it will look like. You you, you ground the source terminal, you ground the drain terminal and the body terminal. So as I said, the the drain the drain to uh, the drain the body and the drain will form a PN junction diode. The body and the source will again form a PN junction diode. And this diode is not connected. So let's draw the diodes here. This will make it more clear. So this is one of the terminals of the diode which is connected to ground. This is one of the terminals of the diode which is again connected to ground. Similar hap similar thing happens with this diode also. The, the, the terminals of this particular diode are connected to their respective grounds. So in that case, what will happen? If you see in this particular case, the resistance between source to drain is extremely high. Basically, there is there is no there is the, the resistance is so high that there is absolutely zero flow of current between source to drain. So that's an, that's an important observation in this scenario that we see. So the important observation is since both the since the the diode is biased at zero volts, both the junctions are off and you see a, a very high a very high source to drain resistance so the job of the threshold voltage will be to make this resistance so small so that we see a current flow that's that's the basic definition we'll see how 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 will how are we going to do that but that's what we have to do we have to reduce the resistance of the channel so this is what we call it as a channel the channel between source and drain the area between the source and drain we call it as a channel and the name that the name that we have put to this particular transistor is n mos it's n channel so we'll be trying to create an n channel over here so right now currently what we have is we have the gate we have the gate to source voltage over here we have this terminal which we are going to supply some voltage right now the voltage at the gate is zero the source is grounded drain is grounded your body is grounded okay these are the observations your uh, your p this forms a pn junction diode this again forms a pn junction diode and this particular diode are off and hence you see a very high source to drain resistance. So these are the observations till now. Let's let's move on. Let's move ahead. Let's see what what further we can uh, do about it. So now what we'll do is we'll be we'll be applying a positive VGS. We'll be applying a positive gate to source voltage. So let's try to start with the positive. We will connect uh, this particular gate to a voltage source and let's start applying 
the voltage over here let's try to make this area as as positive so so as there is one more observation that you see is this is your polysilicon gate which is which has got a, a properties which is close to a metal this is your p type substrate and you have an oxide over here so there is one more device that gets forms over here that's a capacitor so you have this plate of the capacitor you have this plate of the capacitor and you have this oxide in between so generally we for for a formation of a capacitor what all things you need you need a dielectric and you need two conducting plates so p substrate is not conducting but semiconducting your, your polysilicon gate or the metal gate it's conducting so between these two conducting gates between these two conducting plates you have an oxide so this forms a, a capacitor so this is again one more observation that we have made over here okay so yeah let's try to uh, now what we'll do is one of the plates of the capacitor will try to connect it to the positive source okay and we'll try to apply positive gate voltage over here so let's see what happens so we have given the we have connected the gate to a positive terminal positive uh, uh, positive voltage source positive terminal of a voltage source so this positive voltage source will be will will be getting applied to one of the plates of the capacitor which is the polysilicon gate or the or the metal gate so all the all the positive charges will have an impact on this plate and this plate will become positively charged so this area of your capacitor will become positively charged so if you see if you see a behavior of a magnet what does a magnet does a magnet repels its like charges and attracts opposite charges so similar behavior will happen over here and let's see how what what does it what does it exactly do so you have this particular plate of the capacitor which is completely positive charged so the first thing that you can expect over here is so p substrate which means there are all p type materials over here there are all p type uh, charges over here p type charges we generally call them as holes and then uh, n type we call call them as electrons so so this since this is a p type substrate this is complete this is all filled with the majority charge carriers over here will be holes which are positively charged so the direct impact that this particular positive plate capacitor will have is that it will repel all it will repel all the p type holes which are present in in this area in its vicinity it will try to it will try to repel all the p type holes over here towards the p type substrate because because it because like charges repel so the same property of the magnet will be will be getting applied over here and you see the holes which are present over here the positive charge particles which are present in this area will be repelled from the from this area and in the process when this particular holes leaves their leaves their position they leave behind negative charged ions so that's the property of a of a positive charge hole so that's the prop that's a basic device physics uh, concepts that you are going to learn in some other videos let's not worry about that in this section so these holes when they move along they, when they get repelled from their area or, or or when they leave their position they leave behind negative charged ions so something is in this fashion so let's see this positive mobile holes when it gets repelled they will they will they will move in this direction let's say they move in this direction and you see an accumulation of negative charges over here so this is just the first layer of negative charges that you see okay so 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 the things that we have learned in this in this section is that whenever a whenever a hole whenever uh, one of these plates of the capacitor is completely positively charged the the behavior will be just like a magnet it will repel it will repel all the positive charges in its vicinity it will push them towards its substrate and in the process while they leave their position while the hole leaves their position they leave behind negative charges and and just as it happens in case of a in case of a pn junction diode when when whenever uh, whenever uh, the whenever the area for example pn junction diode you have the p area you have the n area whenever the n area is depleted of its majority carriers there is a depletion region formation whenever the p type area is depleted of its majority carriers there is a depletion region formation similarly if you see in this area this is a p type substrate so its majority carrier should be holes but this area is now getting depleted of its majority carriers which is holes so so in that case what will happen basic there is there will be a formation of depletion region over here so just consider this as a the behavior of this as a diode same thing happens if you if you if the holes if the majority carriers which is holes in the p type substrate are removed from their area there will be a formation of depletion region because there because this particular area is now depleted of its majority carriers so let's see this is how it will look like the the depletion region will be looking something like this so what we'll do is we have just started we have just 
begin the discussion on depletion region will be continue with this point and we'll see and we'll see uh, other effects also we'll see how this depletion region gets increased and all those things so let's try to look into all this in the next video thank you